you are in big trouble. Uh, this is Officer Chuck from Canada Revenue Agency, and you must give me uh, like a thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin. Otherwise, we're going to make big trouble for you. <laughs> out the amount of wheat we had so okay I I forgive the uh, I forgive myself for doing that yeah it looks kind of cool oh but we want to light it up as well Dude, I like those, the cool little accents on the corner, though. Except I've run out of feds. I feel like I should just make like a whole bunch of fence, though. Just because I'm going to end up... Uh, like I'm going to end up uh, needing to fence off the orchard anyway so that things can't like break in or sneak up on me so make a whole lot of fence here huh i'm getting a, a phone call from kitchener ontario i don't know anyone in kitchener ontario i'm assuming it is some sort of like one of those like robot calls. I almost sort of want to answer it just to see. And no, I just let it, I just let it ring. <laughs> uh, I wanted it to be someplace safe before I answered it, but. Uh. Yes, if someone from a faraway place calls you and tells you that you owe them X amount of dollars in Bitcoin, or iTunes gift cards, they're obviously not the Canada Revenue Agency. Obviously not. Huh, they left me a voicemail. No way. Oh, I, I sort of wanna, I sort of wanna play this voicemail just to see what this, uh, what this call is about here. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I listened to the message, and it's literally, I don't know, I don't know, like what it is, or like it told me to. Essentially, it was just some guy. It was a call from Kitchener, Ontario, which is like, I don't know anyone in Kitchener. And like, if it were like my bank or something, like it would be the bank that's calling or you'd think it'd be right. Like it would say bank of so-and-so or this and this bank. Didn't say anything like that. So I was like, okay, well, whatever. Uh, yeah, just a random call from Kitchener, Ontario. And it says, if you would not like to be contacted again, please press, please press eight. I did not press eight. I hung up. I, <laughs> I don't know if pressing eight somehow saves the number or does something to, to, yeah, I don't know. I'd have to listen to the, the main menu of what TELUS wants me to do with my phone or something. But yeah, I'm sure if I were to have answered that, it would have been a very interesting call. Actually, there've been a lot of like, um, like I know it's sort of close to a, an election eventually here, like they're like, especially like uh, uh, federal, I think, and then also like provincial, but like they're sort of getting geared up for election time. But like, obviously, I haven't like called a, a big election and Canadian elections aren't as as big as or as long as uh, American ones like American elections last like two years, like they start two years ahead or whatever of uh, the actual election dates. And 
Canadian ones, not so much. Like a few months is, <laughs> is uh, I remember this last election. They were like, oh, it's this mammoth election, this, this really long election. And it's going to be like X amount of days. <laughs> and just everyone, uh, like anyone in the American media that was sort of covering our last election here in Canada was just sort of like, oh, what a, what a big election, they would say. And uh, like, of course, this is a, this is a huge election. And it, it technically it was for, for, for anyone in Canada because we're not used to having that, uh, that long of an election process. Like, it, it doesn't take them nearly as long to, they don't campaign for nearly as long or, or anything like that. It's like, it's sort of like you hear, oh, it's election time. They campaign a little bit and you're, you're going to vote. Like if you, a few weeks later, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Could have been like a, a political call coming out of Ontario. Who knows? Or like Kitchener, Ontario. I don't know. I feel like I know, <laughs> I know my American geography a little bit better than, uh, like Ontario geography even. And then, uh, I know European geography better than I know both America and Ontario geography. Ask me about Alberta, and I will tell you about Alberta geography. That's one thing that, without a doubt, I know I could tell you. But, uh, like, you know, when, in general, Canada geography, like where the provinces are and that sort of thing. 100% I can, uh, can tell you that. But, like, where's Kitchener, Ontario? No, it's in Ontario. <laughs> Yeah, I was hoping to death it would be one of those uh, one of those calls like, oh, uh, give me, uh, you are in big trouble. Uh, this is Officer Chuck from Canada Revenue Agency, and you must give me uh, like a thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin. Otherwise, we're going to make big trouble for you. <laughs> There we go, like the farm is nice and lit up. Obviously right in the middle it's gonna be, it's not gonna light up very well. There's certain things like once I actually go to like the nether and uh, get glowstone and stuff like that, I can maybe put like uh, in the bottom of the water area or even over top of the water I can stick, uh, stick a glowstone uh, block or something like that to sort of light up like the actual like area inside of the farm there. I could also put a torch on top of like a, a block or something too, but it's it's not super critical. At least now the farm is sort of hemmed in. I think I'll work now just on uh, maybe a fence for the uh, orchard a little bit. That would be super useful. And then uh, of course we've got like our big path going down here, but. Uh, Oh yes, nothing like digging up dirt with your loaf of bread. Uneven amount of dirt. I feel like I'll make this I'll put a little bit of distance between the fence and this so that things can't jump out of the orchard because I, I have a feeling the orchard's going to get quite dark especially right near the middle it's like I'll do that just sort of separate the fence a little bit from the from the wall so that it's not too uh, like it's not uh, easy to breach I guess is what I'm trying to say This here. Good thing I made so much fence. There we go. Uh, 
let's just get it right out to bring it out to here. I wonder if I could fit another row of trees actually. Actually, you know what I can do is uh Maybe I'll make this sort of a storage area for tree stuff. And then go like this. Nice. There. Now the only thing I have to do is light this uh, light this place up. That's uh, some solid work there. <laughs> Can only sleep at night. Thank you. Thank you, game. Ugh. Charcoal there. Ooh, nice. Full stack of torches. That'll come handy. When we go spelunking, obviously we'll need a lot more torches, but uh, oh, I should have made a, a gate. Sniper. Yeah. Probably need, probably have a couple of entrances though, so we'll. <laughs> okay. Gate, gate. Okay. That'll be good. Got my first little entrance right here. Let's put the hoe away for now. There we go. A little bit of light. Light the place up. We'll avoid having too many monsters in here. And this thing, like the way that this has been designed, I don't know. It sort of looks like it's literally going to be a monster pit. <laughs> it's going to hit a certain point where, actually, no. The the trees are glow growing so close together that maybe it won't necessarily be like like they won't. They might not actually like properly spawn in here like crazy, but uh, yeah, who's to say? We'll light up all this stuff here. That's the entrance to our mine. Like if we want to make that ladder the entrance to our mine, we'll probably have to do a little bit of a little bit of work to maybe make a path. Ah. Yeah. Like that. Can do some stairs up to it, maybe. That might look kind of cool. I like it. Turning out well. Turning out well. Okay. And then, of course, we could do like this. Yeah, I don't like how uneven that is. <laughs> inside if anything should come up from our mind just in case we dug too greedily and too deep <laughs> so obviously it's not going to be a crazy spectacular mine entrance there but maybe it'll maybe I'll make a spectacular mine somewhere or maybe it doesn't well it'll do it like this it might not look like a spectacular mine entrance but you go down the ladder and you get into a pretty sweet looking place. And no chicken hatch from that egg. Okay. Uh -huh. 
it's, it's not half bad. We can sort of have a path that goes around here and links everything together. It'll, it'll look good. It's starting to come together, though. I always like it when a plan comes together. For sure, we'll put uh, torches like all over this sucker. Because we're trying to make it so that we don't spawn monsters. But even then, is that necessarily a bad thing? Mm. I prefer it spawn zombies because like skeletons have their ranged attack. And I can totally ruin you. See, look, the sheep, they want to, <laughs> they see something new, and they want to go. Well, they want to see what it is. Or like if I'm digging a tunnel or something, they'll go and they'll just walk right into me, and I'll hit them. Totally accidental, of course. It's a dark oak sapling. Okay. So this is really coming together, then. I like it. It's looking good. Plenty of... Plenty of space still to do things. Like if I want to make maybe an animal pen in this spot here, uh, that might be a, a cool thing to do. I've got some fence still. together that's got a good start to it there maybe I'll make a well no I think I've I've been <laughs> putting off going underground long enough so I feel like maybe I'll go I'll harvest everything that I can harvest here I'll try and make it so that the uh, the orchard here is filled with trees and then uh, after that I will journey underground into the mines.